Hey guys. On uh, this video, we're going to create a franchise out of custom teams. But before we begin, there's uh, two types of uh, custom teams that we need to start using the proper definition for them. Because they're they're different. Now a creative team is defined by madness at type five. Madden team type number five. And this team really doesn't need any main dat files to function properly. You can pretty much export this team into any roster and it'll work just fine just by exporting and importing the team. A custom team is any Madden type that is not a created team. And this this kind of team uses some or all of the main that files like the logos that file, uniforms, the slivers, or any other that file. So if you were to export this team into any roster, you would have to carry the that files that the custom team uses. Because if you don't, and you import this team to another roster, it may not function properly. Okay, so... I know that I kind of use these two words or teams interactively. You know, I might mean custom when I'm saying created and vice versa. But just know the difference between a created team and a custom team. And this is what we're going to make. We're going to make a franchise out of custom team. So first off, you need to export your 32 teams. And uh, but before I do that, let me uh, let me show you what file I'm going to use. I'm going to use the uh, the Vols one converted roster for the uh, NCAA add-on and I converted this roster from created teams to custom teams so if you want to download that file click here and you'll be able to get that file and then second you're gonna have to make a list of the teams that you want to use for your franchise and uh, I got a nice list right here with the uh, divisions and stuff, which is going to make it a whole lot easier for me to make them. So once you make your list of where you want your teams to be listed, you know, division-wise, you go to Madden and you export your teams. So, I named my Vols file as NCAA XMOD file. Uh, a roster for um, for the NCAA add-on. So you go in here and you export the teams that you're gonna use for your franchise. And to save time, I've already exported those teams. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the teams table. And um, here are the teams. And uh, one side note is that teams that share the same nickname 
like the BYU Cougars, the Houston Cougars, and the Penn State Cougars. It's um, let's uh, let's rename this one. It's just Cougars. I say yes. Oh shoot! I got two of them really. right here that's why okay um, this is the Houston Cougars okay so when you export your team where is that Cougars Houston Cougars you're gonna export you're gonna say yes and then it's going to give you a warning whether you want to overwrite the file or not. You cancel it. You go to the team table. And you rename it. And this is Houston. That was Houston, you know, before. So now, when you try to export it and you say yes, it'll export it for you without having to overwrite your other your other team thing. So just keep that in mind. I've already exported my teams. Let's see what uh, the next step is. The next step is to load the uh, XMOD blank ROS uh, spreadsheet and import the, uh, the teams and see the note below. So we're going to look at the, let's look, the, uh, let's load the XMOD blank file which I've already done here. And it says, If you are going to assign teams by conference and division, read the following. Sort column K from smallest to largest. Smallest to largest. Sort column H, smallest to largest. Assign the teams by conference and divisions by using column O and P. And I've already did this step. So what you guys are going to do the AFC South going to copy these into your franchise using O and P. And I've already done this, okay? But AFC South right here, you put them in there. You paste them. And you're going to have this list, okay? So let's do the... Uh, Like the last one back here. Oh, the battery's going dead. Hold on, real quick. OK, 
Okay, so You notice that the conference and division there. That's why you have to uh, sort those two other columns so you can get them this way. That way it'll be easy to paste and copy. Now on this guy's uh, There was an error, I think. I think that was K before, but it actually should be N. So column N from smallest to largest. And this is the order in which you have to insert the teams or import the teams. So you're going to import Boise State Broncos first, the Michigan Wolverines second, just the way that it's here. All the all 32 teams, okay? That's that's the order you have to import them, okay? And I've already done that also, okay, guys. So, you know, I loaded up the I loaded up the X blank and then I imported all my teams into this file. I saved it. So if you notice that's the that's the order the uh, teams were imported. Boise State, Michigan, Houston, Texas, Wisconsin, Massachusetts, USC, Texas Tech, Oklahoma, Clemson, Alabama, you know, all the way up to Utah. I think that's the way I have them here. Yeah, all the way. That's the way you're going to have to import them, okay? And then you save, you save the roster. up here and once you've done the note you save the roster now we're gonna open that save roster in a DB editor and import the uh, Xmod coach spreadsheet okay so we open this we go to rosters CA franchise, we're going to go to coach, and I've already done it just to save time, you go to the coach, you import the table, it gives you a warning to use the correct table, I got my table saved, and the rosters, Oops, that one, Side note here, if you're using okay, um, if you're using version 2, it will automatically save your file. And if uh, you're using version 3, you're going to have to manually save the file every time you make a change. Okay, so keep that in mind. So so before importing the coach table, you can edit it and put the coach's name if you want. Step number four. We're going to export the team table and open it up in a spreadsheet. So we go to team. We're going to 
export it. Okay. Just remember that name, which is going to be NCAA team. And we're going to open it. Which is this one right here, guys? You notice the name of it with a team, so we're going to import that. I'll make this a little bit smaller. I like it around 75. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you uh, open that blank roster, it's going to have a created team already there taking up. Team ID zero. Because when you make a franchise, you cannot use a team that is zero for a franchise. So we'll keep that there for the moment. So now that we have that spreadsheet open on the table, step five. Says, copy the yellow highlighted columns from the XMOD franchise spreadsheet to your exported team table. Okay. So. Let's, what are the highlighted ones? Right here. Now I know for a fact that these three columns are grouped together. So, I'm going to copy those. I'm going to copy them to my franchise. Now, remember that you're going to start on the second row because the first one is taking up the team zero. And paste it. There. And that should be all your other teams. PDRI. Okay, copy. PDRI right here. EISN copy right here. Control V paste. Now I know these two columns are together so I can copy those two together. Here, if you assign the teams by conference and divisions, which I did, then column, then uh, copy the orange highlighted columns, TRV1, TRV2, TRV3, which are the rival divisions. Okay. Let's copy those two.
the second one. Paste. Copy. And paste. Now we gotta save it. Number six says, import the saved team table back into your roster using the DB editor. Let's import it back again. Giving you a warning to use the correct table. And it says load the roster men and create your franchise. Just keep in mind that training camp is not available for custom teams. If a created team is in the franchise file, then open the franchise file, the franchise file using DB Editor version 3 and change the team type from 0 to 5. Okay, if you use a created team only. And that's it guys. So you go to Madden. Load the roster. Franchise. Get the teams there. And let's create that franchise. Now I think uh, now you'll have the logos if it's a custom team, okay? If you had, if you were making created teams, these would be all NFL logos, I think, okay, temporarily. Okay. So right here, I guess I'm going to be the Longhorn. And start the franchise. And you can start the franchise from here. But if you had created teams, Save the franchise. Save it. Open the franchise with DB Editor version 3 and change the team type from 0 to 5. Save the franchise again and load it up with the Madden and you should have your your logos back again, okay? Okay, so let's simulate the first season.
There's something wrong with that. I ain't got time to be messing around with it. It's gonna be the Cougars. Let's simulate the wall card. Let's simulate that round. So there you have it. You have the first uh, true matchup for the uh, championship. Have a guys, uh, have fun. <laughs> 